Hey, what's up? Welcome to my channel. In today's video, I'll be going over my experience with using the Oracle Enclosure for M.2 SSD in 2021. Let's get started. Let's take a look at the spec of this enclosure. So looking at the box, the spec for the M2 PV-C3 has USB 3.1 Type-C Gen 2 and transfer rate of up to 10 gigabits. And inside the box, it comes with a USB-C to C cable and a USB-C to A cable and a thermal heat pad for heat dissipation and a screwdriver for removing the screws on the lid. It supports Windows, Mac, and Linux. The Oracle enclosure weighs about 35 grams and it doesn't feel that light in my hand. The majority of the enclosure is built with plastic which feels solid and doesn't feel too cheap. The lid is made of aluminum so it can act as a heat sink to cool the chip and it can get quite warm to the touch after a period of time in use. Let's remove the lid to look inside. You'll need to unscrew the screw with a screwdriver provided in the box. Once removed, you will see the PCBA copper bar and here you can insert the M.2 SSD into the socket and then use the plastic plug provided in the box to secure the SSD in place. And afterward, you want to apply the thermal pad over the chip and slide the aluminum lid over it and screw the screw back in place and then we're ready to go. Oracle enclosure transfer data faster. I got on average about 1000 megabyte for read and 1000 megabyte for write for both Crystal Disk and Blackmagic benchmark. I transferred about 50 gigabyte worth of data and it took about 10 minutes in total. While I'm able to transfer data faster, the enclosure has crashed on many occasions. It crashes regardless of what device I was using, either my PC, Mac, or my iPad. And this issue has happened at random either in the beginning, the middle, or even at the end of a data transfer. Oracle enclosure is affordable and the box comes packed with more extra than I expected at this price of $20, such as two USB cable and a thermal pad. Where things go bad is when it crashes. It would either freezes up my computer or causes it to blue screen. So in the end, it would have been a great budget enclosure, but because of this issue, I do not recommend purchasing the Oracle enclosure in 2021. That concludes the video. Thank you for watching till the end. Please consider helping out this channel by subscribing and liking. See you again!